Hi, I'm Kathy Webster in the Herco booth. They are celebrating 50 years. And I'm here with Paul Gray, Herco's R&D manager. Hi, Paul. Hi, Kathy. So I hear you have some new releases this year. Can you tell us about them? Sure, we have a plethora of new five axis machines. We've really been trying to push that technology to the people who are growing in their businesses because of the great efficiencies that they can gain from five axis machining. We've also introduced some new control, te control technology, um, especially a solid model import for our controls where you can just simply click any surface on any angle on the part and it will automatically generate the tool path for that surface. So the five axis machining, who is that geared toward? What kind of customer? It's kind of geared to all levels of customers. It has all levels of sophistication. We can do simultaneous five axis for complex parts or three plus two axis machining for simple prismatic parts as well. And I understand their prices have come down a little bit and so people who were considering three axis machines, why would they consider a five axis machine? Simply from the efficiency of reducing the number of setups for cutting your parts. And you're correct, this technology is absolutely accessible to everyday shops, job shops as well. Okay, and what sets Herco's controls apart from their competitors? We really believe in bringing high technology to our customers that's usable and simple to work with. That's really everything we try to do for our customers from top to bottom for our controls. So Paul, is there anything here in the booth that represents Perco's past that they're celebrating? Absolutely, we have our KM1 model and it was a Bridgeport style machine with a controller on it and we refurbished it and got it up and running and we even cut apart for our customers to see. And it looks like you have a very popular and exciting quadrant over there. I understand that's the automation quadrant. Can you tell us about what's going on there? Absolutely. Um, it's been exciting to see the response. We've had people waiting in line for over two hours just to come in and experience what we brought to IMTS this year. So we did something very special. We have a collaborative robot that has a 3D scanner on it and it scans people's heads which generates a solid model. We do a little bit of data processing to generate a tool path. That toolpath then goes to one of two automation cells that we have, robotic cells attached to a five-axis Herco machine and a three-axis Herco machine. So I could go over there, get my head scanned, and something would print out and it would be a model of my head? Absolutely. That's what we do, we're doing right now. It could be a five-axis uh, statue of your head or a three-axis coin of your head. That's very cool. Well, happy anniversary. Thank you. And that was Paul Gray from Herco, and I'm Kathy Webster from IMTS-TV.